Hello everybody, Kyle here again, bringing you the second battle video, or the yeah, second battle video of the day, um, in, like I promised I would. Sorry, it's extremely cold where I am today. We're getting hail, so, uh, that might affect the, uh, the camera, the, the camera ship, the camera, I don't know, the camera quality. Oh man, freaking cold. Here, let me try to fix it. See if I can... Okay. We're probably getting some screen, screen tearing at the bottom. Um, but yeah, so looking at... Oops, sorry, my finger's in the way. Looking at the teams here. Um, man, I can't remember this battle. I did this battle... Uh, a long time ago. I actually... Um, I actually went up about 90 ranks today. Um, I climbed up, like, you know how you have your, like, battle score? I went from, um, like, 1307 to, like, 1420. So, heck yeah. <laughs> but, um, and I'm still climbing. I actually haven't lost a match in, like, the last 20 that I've done. No, no, that's, that's totally... That's totally exaggerating. In like the last 10. I just got really excited and I wanted to make a big number. Um, but yeah, so here we are. I actually can't remember if I win or lose this match. Um, but I remember it being pretty close. Um, and doing some technical stuff. I don't remember. But, as you can see here, so... I really wish I could remember who else is on his team. I knew he was bringing Mega Mobile. So I brought Rotom to get that Will-O-Wisp off on her. Um, I brought Charizard Y because he's just such a good Pokemon. Um, he's been doing a lot of work lately. I brought Typhlosion because he also does a lot of damage and he's going to get the Flame Wheel boost with the Drought. Um, I brought Gudra because Gudra is my special defense wall. Um, she had something for almost every Pokemon on the field, Flamethrower for a while. Um, she had the Dragon Pulse for the Hydreigon, and she has the Thunderbolt for um, Greninja, assuming that he uses Hydro Pump, you know, when she does it. Uh, let me go ahead and start this match. Shows me a little bit of camera movement. I'm going to get right into it. I think I opened up Rotom Charizard, just in case my Wild came out on the first turn. I wanted to get an advantage up on her immediately. It's always good when your Mega is out and theirs is not. Oh no, sorry. So sorry. <clears throat> I went uh, Gudra Rotom because I wanted to get the will o off on Mawile, but um, I was not expecting Mawile to come out first. I totally misset it. So I pulled Gudra out immediately because I know for a fact that a play rough on Gudra is a one hit KO. At least I've never survived one before. So I went out into Charizard knowing that there's, you know, that I, I could turn this around on her. I don't have a high attack stat. Pretty confident with that. Psychic's not going to do too much damage. Now, as Elf, I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of uh, experience with, and I know for a fact that she is pretty decent. So I was a uh, a little worried about her out of the out of all the Pokemon on the team. That was one I worried about the most. And as I knew, even without that Will O Wisp, I definitely would have lived that. I believe probably with about the same amount of HP because that was a crit. Go ahead and go for the Mega Ball here, and I believe I overheat Mawile to get off the field. Now that I can't I can't really remember what I did. This battle was a while ago. So I'm, I'm learning as you are. Now, the drought isn't a weekend, the Hydro Pump on my own Rotom. No, no, I Solar Beam. Why did I Solar Beam? What did I do here? I think I was expecting the Predict, or sorry, I was expecting um, a Protect on Mawile. That's what it was. I figured that when he saw me Mega Evolve, he wasn't going to go for my, he wasn't going to go for the Protect. I'm um, expecting the Overheat to come in. That's what it was. And so I went ahead and hit Solar Beam on Azelf because I didn't want to use the Overheat and lower my special attack. Playwright's going to come in, though. I don't know why he went for Rotom. Um, maybe he overpredicted as well, because it's not going to take out my Rotom at all. In comes Greninja. Now, Greninja, um, Hydro Pump in the Sun will not one-shot my Charizard, but since Charizard was low HP, it would have got me anyways. But I go down on the Sucker Punch. I won't be able to get that Solar Beam off this round. Um, Charizard's out for the match. Um, he didn't do too much, sadly. And then there comes a Night Slash, and Rotom goes down to the crit. And that was a very sad start for me. So this Mawile is going to be a huge problem. And at this point, 
I don't really have anything for it. Um, I have the flamethrower on to on my Gudra, but if she goes to the player up on Gudra, I don't know with the burn if she'll actually still take me out. But there is a very good chance that I'll still die. I don't want to rely on it. I go with the power punch now though, since Greninja is a dark type. So I'm gonna get that super effective damage, and I'm gonna go for that attack up. The problem being though that now I'm locked into it. Um, Hydro Pump in the sun is not going to kill me, but I think Mawile's gonna go for the play rough onto Typhlosion. No! Oh, Mawile's slower. For some reason I was expecting that. Well, Flamethrower's gonna take on Mawile, and that's gonna help me get a little bit of moment momentum back, but my last really good damager is already down low. Here comes the Hydreigon, and so at this point I wasn't too sure what I was gonna do, but Mega Punch is going to take out Greninja, because it's still super effective. I get that plus two, but I'm Sure that Typhlosion won't last too much longer um, with the fact that there's still Hydreigon out there. He goes for the Outrage, and yeah, there we go. So there's Typhlosion down, so I'm down to my Gudra alone. Gudra, though, Gudra versus Hydreigon, she can one-on-one -on -one this easily. So I wasn't too worried about it. Even with... Oh, it does not kill. See, man, even without any investment, Gudra is just a beast. Um, there we go. Good! Oh, gosh. If that was a crit, he would have won. But it was not, and I'll turn around with the Dragon Pulse. So it looks like I do win this one. Um, this actually isn't the match that I thought it was going to be. <laughs> this is. Uh, there was a guy who used a very similar team against me earlier, and that was actually kind of the fight I was looking for uploading. But it looks like um, I deleted the wrong one. So, sorry guys, you got the, the more boring match. Dang. Okay, well... Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah. That's, that's about it. That was just another pretty average match. Um, Charizard Y, though, I have to say, has been raking in the wins for me. Not necessarily sweeping, but the fact that Overheat is pretty much like a guaranteed remove one Pokemon from the field, it's just such a good move. Um, Solar Beam, you know, for the coverage, obviously. And then I got the Focus Blast on my Charizard Y. I haven't had to use it very recently. But it comes in great for, you know, a Greninja's that go for the Night Slash or, um, I think Hydreigon's weak against fighting, right? Because Dragon, Dark, yeah. So, for that, it's also really good for things like, um, uh, Weaviles and, I think, and Tyranitar gets super affected by it, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure he's like, what? See, I can't remember if he's Dark Ground or Dark Rock. If he's Dark Rock, then definitely he get, he get owned by it. That's something I don't know. As I said, I'm still I'm still not sure on all the typings. But um but yeah, so sorry guys, that was another really short video today. The videos other than the, the one with the three genies, as Strife Zach put it, um they've been very exciting. So sorry guys, I I deleted the wrong match. So I mean I'm definitely gonna be playing some more matches today. I'm also working on breeding a hidden ability Iron Head Garchomp. So that's me coming up pretty soon. I know it's another OU Pokemon. Um, but I think he'll be really fun to have on the team. He'll be a really good physical attacker. Um, and yeah, he'll be fantastic. So, alright guys, um, once again, I'm sorry that, I'm sorry I brought you the wrong match. But at least, <laughs> at least it's another match to see. Um, hopefully, even though, uh, it's, it's gotten to the point now where I kind of want to have a really good match where I lose. Because uh, most of my losses are still, um, pretty bad from my point of view, so they won't be very educational. And while, yes, people like to watch the battles, as I said, I do mainly want the channel to be a way for newer players like myself to learn... Pardon me, I got hiccups. I get hiccups every time. I mainly wanted my channel to be a place... There they go. Oh, all right. I wanted my channel to be a place where newer players could come and kind of learn from my mistakes and see how I handle things as I'm learning my, myself. And then, of course, as time goes on and I get better, my channel will be more, you know, inclined for the, the more veteran players who want to see some really good high skill games. But I'm, I don't feel like I'm anywhere near that point right now. As I said, I just got back into, like, the 1400s, like 1450 or so, 1420. So I'm just working on breaking par again um, after, you know, because my, my, my first, like, 40 games or so were learning experiences, and I dropped all the way down to, like, 1300. Um, and now I'm fighting my way back up now that I... Uh, I've taken in a lot of info, um, and I feel like I'm playing a lot better. Um, but yeah, so there you go, guys. That was another quick match. I might actually do a third one today, just because these both have been so short to kind of make up the fact that I deleted the cool match I wanted to show you. So sorry about that, guys. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful day, 
and and have a have a good have a good one again just in case you didn't hear me the first time have a double good